Hello, so I'm back with another sorting photo cards video. This time my stack didn't fit in my usual drawer. So yeah, it's a lot. Most of it, to be honest, is just some um, Kepler pre-order cards because I got my pulls it, my albums in and I need to trade now. <laughs> like I've got a lot of stuff to trade. But anyway, I also got a Japonica package in, and I originally, because I'm a dumb, dumb fucking idiot, I got two sets of these without knowing. When I ordered the second one, they actually gave me the whole thing, like the whole little uh, QR code thing with the, um, what's it called? The OST. And it also had all of the cards in it, so I got these a third time, and I also got John Hyun's cards with John Young. Oh my God, John Hyun's cards, which I'm actually really glad to have because I was thinking about buying them, but it just seemed like a, an extra, you know, expense that I didn't really want to do. So now that I actually have these. It's uh, work it worked out for me, to be honest, because I did want to get them. So yeah, now I have the two main characters, Yu Jung and Jung Hyun. Great. <laughs> and I also have a Digipack. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Digipack card. It's either Digipack or Platform. I don't remember. It's going here any in any case, so because it doesn't fit with my my layout in the other binder so and then very very exciting I have Nati from Kiss of Life her full set from uh, the first Kiss of Life album this is uh, her solo from her solo album and I am planning on continuing to collect her for the next one so, the V is, this is a, let me see if I can have it look a little bit more, yeah, I think that's better, yeah, okay, so V goes here, oh. and then we have, I think the pout was supposed to go at the top, so the outside pick goes here, and the pouty one goes here. In other news, um, I realized that I wasn't as crazy about completing my, uh, like, keeping up with my Yunjin collection as I used to be. So I've kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I've kind of cut down in any case, so I'm just keeping one card per era. So this is Fearless, Anti-Fragile, Fearless Japan, Unforgiven, and Unforgiven Japan. The rest I'm going to put up for sale and trade, so if you're interested, let me know. Uh, I'll be posting, a po I'll have a post up with the cards I have for trade and sale soon. So. Look at to my Instagram for that if you're interested. It, it might already be there. Next, we're going into my extra ZB1 album. So I bought another little binder, like an A4 binder, and it came with these hollow sleeves. I honestly, I don't trust them without uh, actually sleeving my cards again. So I'm always going to use extra protection. But yeah. And they're actually like double-sided, which I love, because my other ones aren't double-sided. So first of all, we've got Bring Green. These, the shape, the size is so weird for these ones. Yeah, I don't like that they're shorter. Oh, sorry, let me show you the back as well. Kind of cute, like cute little signatures. But look at that. <laughs> How much space there is, it's insane. And Jung. Jung, Jung, Jung. Melting Point is coming soon, which is very exciting. 
And here we've got the icon hollows. Oh, I was so, so glad to be able to, to get these. Just love it. Love the little bubble gum thingy. And I think there's a bubble gum pob. Uh, if I remember correctly, for Melting Point. I've definite, I definitely have uh, Matthew secured for that one. I don't know if I'm going to get Jung. Um, I joined some goes, but the thing is that uh, the way that they run the go is that they would just get claims for any member, even if one set wasn't complete. So I am pretty much not secure for most of the cards I've uh, I've claimed for June. Like I need I need some good luck to get them secured. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's very upsetting to be honest, but yeah. What can you do I guess? So yeah, this is like extreme hollow now two types of <laughs> I don't know if you can even see them the way that they are oh, it's crazy that's insane okay so next we're going on to my Luna and Twice binder it's basically post Luna and Dahya actually like that's a better description for it. This is the new binder I got. It's like the same style as my other one. I feel like it's a it's a remake though. It's not from the actual brand because it's a lot more stiff. I don't know if it should be like that. Anyway, the thing I got for Luna is actually Lucembol. Uh, I got in my Lucembol albums and uh, a pub I ordered. So these were my pulls. I got Pink Hat Vivi, y'all. <laughs> and I also got this, uh, I pulled this Yes24 Olivia card. So I'm just going to put them, since it's Olivia, like I pulled Olivia for the Yes24, I'm just going to put her at the end with the other, the album card. If that made sense. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw Hassel's little concert series that she's doing. She had a concert with Lippy. One of them was with Lippy and Sohyun from uh, Triple S, and that's actually like basically my Artemis and uh, Triple S bias line. Nowadays, I've been feeling like maybe my Luna bias has changed from Lip and Hustle to Hyunjin, to be honest. I'm not planning on collecting anyone in particular though anymore for, for Luna, it's just, it's too much, it's too difficult, so I'm just keeping my pulls. That's why I didn't trade Jinsol, you know, Even, you know, they're, all of their cards are great and I love all the girlies. If I'm able to pick up any Chew in the future, I definitely will. Right now though, it's not financially feasible for me, to be honest, So or wise. So that's not going to be happening right now, but hopefully in the future. Okay, so now go on to my bigger binders. Okay, let me zoom out. So very, very exciting card. My last Dion card I needed for my <laughs> Kiss Kicks collection. <laughs> Yay! da -da, she's done. And I actually had this card, but I have a feeling that she's a dupe, so I took her out and I'm now searching for it again. I actually have it twice. <laughs> um, what else? Okay, yeah, this Suya. This Yan. Lovely. Got this with an album that was an extra for me, so I I could do a new um, collage that I wanted to do. Because I wanted to make I wanna make one more divider for my Wikimiki uh, binder. 
and yeah if I ever you know have the chance to get some cards and there's an album with it I'm just gonna do it if it's an album I don't have already I haven't made a, a collage from already okay so I'm just missing this Yujang which I thought I had but it was it was an obvious dupe <laughs> okay so in the missing Astro uh, diaries I was missing Astro <laughs> as one does and I bought a fuck ton of photo cards from the latest DVD the Japan version uh, so first set first set is this these are the museum cards and this is the rarer set if I'm not mistaken I think you got one card per purchase so yeah these these were a bit a little bit expensive especially Uno's card yeah that was that that mm. <laughs> That kind of hurt, but I'm still glad I got them. Uh, love this rookie. This rookie was pretty cheap, to be honest. And Rocky opened up One Fine Day Entertainment, which is amazing. And I don't know if you saw, Wumuti went. Sana, Jinjin, and MJ went. Unu was filming, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Munbin was there. He posted a story with nine stars. Rocky. Obviously, Fantasio has a weird hate boner over uh, Rocky right now. So unfortunately, the rest of the boys weren't able to post about um, the new company, but we move. Look at this, this Uno, so fucking cute. And this Jinjin, which is illegal, apparently, like, what the hell? Uh, the nice thing is that I was, that I managed to buy Munbuin and Jinjin together. And for, oh, unfortunately, MJ was already in the military when this uh, concert happened, so there's no card of him. And then another thing I got at the at the same time was a card, uh, a set of six of the trading cards from Stargazer, like the the normal concert, not the Japan one, the the yeah the merch from that concert. I actually have a few more cards from the merch because uh, most of these I bought from sets, so it could be cheaper. And I've kept those cards in a new little binder I got, which I'll show you after I finish uh, this set, actually. Yeah, why not? This Moonbin with the glasses, I love, I love. I'm just gonna take these out preemptively. Oh no, so cute. Yeah, they're numbered since they're merch cards, but I haven't really bothered with any of the numbering. So this doesn't make sense. Like, I should get two if this is three. I should have gotten two, but yeah, I, I don't really care about that. And this MJ? Yeah, this one's one. So anyway, let me show you my little binder now. So I put this Sana from uh, Intense and I've got my Sailor Saturn here. So this I already had and these two, but this was a, from a fan meeting. This is one of the like special cards and I also got this one. And then I have, I have mostly Rocky and, um, and Sana for these, like the trading cards, because those were the sets. And I've got this one and this one and this little one. I love this one. So cute. Okay, and last set uh, is a set that I got twice <laughs> because I am impatient. So this is another little set. I think this was from a specific store. It's again a museum. Yeah, from Mukahari Mese Exhibition. You got this as a set if you bought the, 
the DVD or the Blu-ray, I can't remember. The thing with this one is that I was trying and failing to buy Moonbin's card. Um, and at some point someone posted the full OT5 set. Again, uh, Jin, uh, MJ wasn't there, unfortunately. So <laughs> I'd already bought all the cards separately and I got them all again, <laughs> apart from Moonbin. And I'm trying to sell them. Since they were also a bit expensive, because the DVD was expensive as well, I'm selling them at 10 euros a pop. Um, totally understand if that's not a price you're willing to pay, but these are pretty rare. Like, n not a lot of people bought these, and they're only uh, available in Japan, so I think it's a fair price, to be honest. I, yeah. Lovely, lovely. I love that Moonbin is doing a heart in both of them. And this this little Sana is so adorable. I just love any photo card where the idol is smiling. That's my favorite thing, honestly. Okay, yeah, beautiful pages. Let me take them out. Now on to Matthew. Oh, sorry. Let me zoom in a little. Okay. On to Matthew again. I got this card, which is from uh, the passport case, because I didn't buy that, and I thought this was super cute. I love all the hot ankes. Like, look at him! My God. <laughs> But because I'm going with like a because I'm going with release order for all the merch, this is the last thing that was released that I bought. So yeah. Okay, and now we've got the albums. So I bought. I obviously have like a ton of cards coming from Goes, but I bought one by myself because uh, I wanted an extra album to do like a cover page and I pulled Matthew <laughs> it's meant to be y'all <laughs> like I, can't, I couldn't believe it I opened it up and it was like the sign just there so, <laughs> okay I think this goes here I also pulled this lovely lovely handbin and he's been hanging out on my desk <laughs> For inspiration because he's a very inspirational guy like there's a reason why he's Matthew's uh, role model right okay so these still sell all of, on the way <laughs> unfortunately I haven't set up for melting point yet my Zero's membership I've seen like a ton of people uh, their memberships getting to their uh, like K-Addies and stuff. I don't know what's going on with my K-Addie because it, it still says it's preparing to ship. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so something very, very exciting. I'm finishing Unoya today. There was like a very, very, very good sale going on for Unoya PCs and I managed to snag this Suam. And I also got BYOB um, albums in. I unfortunately, I am collecting Tsuki and uh, ha uh, Haram for this album, since Sua isn't here unfortunately. But this is my Sua page for Inoya. I, I miss her so much, like, I miss her incredibly so. Anyway, so yeah, I'm collecting Tsuki and Haram. No pulls except for one QR card. So I'm just gonna wait for um, some trades to go through. I don't know if people haven't gotten albums in or if it's just the, the tags acting up again, but I haven't had any offers, and I did pull like some really cute cards. I'm just gonna put this haram in the middle. At the end of the day, I think I'm gonna put all of my QR cards maybe 
on the back because there are eight cards so like four haram, four tuki and then I don't just want like one of them in the middle so I'm just going to put a colour here and then a coloured sleeve here and then the rest will be uh, the, the QRs on the back and I also got some other cards to finish off some um, non-bias line well I love everyone that's why I'm collecting more members but I got some cards to finish up these sets this was before Haram, I was collecting Haram obviously and I'm, I'm not gonna backtrack now I got Tsuke <laughs> Uh, Shiyun and Haruna, lovely, so Shiyun goes here and Haruna goes here. Okay, so when I finally find Shi um, Suhyang and Haram for the Village of Perception Chapter 1, this can go out. So please help me. <laughs> I have shooting cards from that era to trade with. That was just my phone, sorry. <laughs> and then for uh, Village of Perception Chapter 2, I'm finishing up this page with Haram and Sean. Lovely cards. I love the cards where they're wearing these shirts with the names of the songs on them. Um, I didn't collect a specific set again, so I just wanted a card per member. And these are the doppelganger cards on the back, so that, that's why it, <laughs> it looks a little bit weird, but still. So yeah, this one. Nice. And this one. Same version. And this page is done, so nice. Okay. And finally, we're getting into Love Struck. So the one card I have, I'm still missing two cards. The one card I do have is from the Digipack. <laughs> As I said before, I'm not sure if this is the Digipack or the platform. I'm I think these are from the same type of version. In any case, they're wearing the same outfit, so it doesn't really <laughs> matter. Uh, and then, yeah, these are all my magic hour things that I have nothing of. <laughs> right now I had zero luck <laughs> with these, but at least I have the pre-order benefits. So, yeah, I, ooh, oh. Okay, I have sleeves here. Hmm, interesting. I'm just gonna pull out a new page. So, first, I have this version. I think this is a moonlighted version. This is my favorite version when it comes to um, the pop set. So I'll just go show them all. Shouting, Mashiro, Chaehyun. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dayeon, my god, Hikaru, Bahi, uh, no, sorry, Hie, Hie, sorry. Youngun and Yeso, like, pfft. just incredible. They're all top tier cards. Um, Unfortunately, Magic Hour promotions ended without a win and they're also not, um, they're not nominated in MAMA for performance, which I think they should either with Giddy or with uh, Galileo. Probably it would have been with Giddy, but Still, I think they definitely deserved a nomination, so it's kind of very frustrating. <laughs> I don't know, uh, Wake One. Wake One really, really sabotaged the timing of this comeback. It should have been early September before Chuseok fucked up all of their promotions. Obviously we can't do anything about it as Keplians, but 
like protest trucks were, are the only thing and they don't give a fuck so anyway this is the sun lighted version if i i don't remember if that's correct or not like the name maybe i should have just put them in one sleeve i don't know maybe this will be a bit too thick now We'll see. Uh, if I don't like it, I'll change it later on. Ugh, I didn't show the cards, sorry. I'll show the back once I'm finished. These are also very cute. I think I think this is the version where Chaehyun has that little uh, macaron. Chaehyun is so good at taking photo cards. Like, <laughs> she's the master, <laughs> truly. Oh! <laughs> no, I'm so dumb. Why didn't I think that it would be other order? <laughs> oh God. Okay. So I guess you can you can see some of them up close. <laughs> yeah. Here goes behind Yeso, and Yeso goes behind here. Yes. And here's Youngin. No, yeah, this is the Chekhan card. Like, this is... I can't believe it's a pub. Like, it's a pub that anyone would get if they bought the album. So Hikaru goes behind Chekhan. Yes. And Chekhan goes behind Hikaru. And here's lovely, lovely Dayan. Please give Dayan a lot of love, you guys. Please. Oh! I'm such an idiot. Okay. And take out my she. So here's shouting. Gorgeous. Love you, babe. <laughs> Mashiro. Like, Mashiro, you guys know she's my bias, but she's shot up even higher, like, my, my general bias list. I just love her so much. I found her, I find her so endearing and cute. Everything she does, I'm obsessed with. <laughs> okay, so moonlighted and sunlighted version. Sunkissed, damn, it's sunkissed, oh my god. Okay, so let's take out all of these sleeves and use this one. So next, we have, I can't remember the name of this version, the pink version. <laughs> so, Yujin, Shouting, Mashiro, Chaehyun, Dayan, Hikaru, Hie, Youngin, and Yeso. And let me show, this time I'm going to double stuff. So these are the Tropical Light and Tape version pre-orders. So Yujin, Shouting, Mashiro, Chaehyun, Dayan, Hikaru, Hie, Youngin, and Yeso. Uh, I thought originally that the... what's it called? I am... It cut off a bit, so I'm not sure if you were hearing what I was saying. I was saying, like, um, a lot of the outfits made no sense with the Galileo concept. Um, like, I remember some of them look like giddy outfits, some of them look like uh, Wadada outfits. Like, what was the point? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking wake one. <laughs> like, I want... Kepler to stay together. Honestly, they have one of the best discographies of fourth gen, and I don't care if you disagree. They are one of my top three favorite fourth gen groups when it comes to performing alongside Billy. And they're just amazing, funny, talented girls. And I hate how they've become a punching bag of sorts. And when 
Kaplians. Sometimes, okay, sometimes Kaplians can be a bit much for no reason. But most of the time, I just see people calling Kepler flops <laughs> or just saying mean stuff about the girls for no reason when they've done literally nothing to deserve that kind of behavior. Uh, people laughing <laughs> in just in those tweets. And then a Keplian gets mad, obviously. <laughs> and people say it's uh, unwarranted. No, it's not unwarranted because you keep shitting on this group of people for no reason. I don't... <laughs> What's unwarranted is your behavior. Okay. So, one and two. So yeah, I think these will be like um, the last OT6 sets I'll be collecting, unfortunately. like. Unless I go um, back catalog some album cards, I don't know. I can't see me doing that right now though. Okay, so, you know, yeah. I really want to get like a four ring or three ring binder, but it's very hard to find them here. Look how gorgeous that is though. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed! What do you mean I'm obsessed? They look so good! Okay. And here I'm gonna put um, any like of my um, other member sets. So... I don't know if I've, I should put it in another spot though. Because this is like OT, like these are five members. But on the back we've got the double kanga set with seven members and I have other seven member sets. Wait, I can actually put them between eras. Oh, I'm so fucking smart. What? Yes. Yes, because it's like, a, okay, so these are the other members and now we go into Unaya era. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so... Happy. I'm so excited for Grand Prix. I don't know if you've heard it. It's so good. They performed it live in their fan meeting yesterday. It's so good. It's so Kepler. I love it so much. Such a fun performance. Once again, they never disappoint. Okay, so Moonlighted. Let me zoom out. Sunkissed, this version, <laughs> EXID, uh, and the units. Okay, I can't wait to finally finish Lovestruck. I think I'm just gonna buy, buy the cards I need. This is too tiring, like, no one's trading. Very frustrating. So yeah, maybe I'll just buy them and then deal with my <laughs> poor decisions again. This set though, I love this set so much. <laughs> Anyway, that was it. Let me finish. Um, I'll, I'll finish on um, Moonlighted because I love these pieces. Thanks for watching once again. And hopefully next time I come, I'll finally have all my goes in for ZB1. <laughs> uh, and yeah, thanks again for watching. See you later. Bye.